we asked the people of Berkeley, California to help answer this question. No idea. Nope. No. <laughs> Synchrotron does something to bring things together, I imagine. It's a light source that isn't an ordinary light source, it's advanced. I don't know, actually. What is advanced light source? For a better understanding of what the advanced light source is, we asked the experts at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. The advanced light source is an extremely powerful source of x-rays. X-rays, as you know, are used in a doctor's office or a dentist's office to look inside your body, to look at cavities in your teeth or to see if you have a broken bone. Well, the x-rays we produce here at the ALS are about a million times more powerful than that but we still can look inside materials, inside chemicals, and watch chemistry and material science happen. The first cyclotron at LBL was built in 1942, but the most recent construction on the advanced light source was completed in 1993, making the ALS what it is today. The original cyclotron was only around 15 feet in diameter, but the synchrotron used today is almost 66 feet across. The strong X-ray and ultraviolet beams produced have helped scientists discover some of the most important findings of the past century. This super bright light continues to draw scientists to the ALS from all over the globe, and has made the ALS one of the preeminent light sources today. There are over 2,000 users here every year doing research in everything from physics to forensics. The users come from, from all over. I would say we have about a third of the users from the local Bay Area, um, about another third are from spread throughout the United States, and then about a third of them are from uh, worldwide, so from outside the US. They do everything. They range from biology through to um, physics. We, so we have chemists, we do chemical dynamics, um, we have crystallographers, we even have people looking at archaeology. One can see how broad the subject matter really is in one walk around the beamlines. There are scientists studying everything from protein crystallography to femtosecond phenomena. Corey Ralston is the operations manager for five of the crystallography beamlines. So at these beamlines we use x-rays to, to help us uh, determine protein structures. And my particular research project is on chaperonin proteins, which are proteins which help other proteins fold. So they're very important in all the different things of life. Her research is done with x-ray beams, but to understand where the x-rays come from and how everything works, we have to look at the system as a whole. It all starts with a small piece of tungsten, which is used to generate a tiny stream of electrons that are sped up in the linear accelerator. The electrons then travel to the booster synchrotron, where they accelerate to nearly the speed of light. The beam continues on to the storage ring, where a series of powerful magnets forces the electrons into a curved trajectory. Photons are emitted as a byproduct of this high energy circular motion. These photons are what the scientists use at the beam lines to do their various kinds of research. We let this intense light out at selected ports where it travels down specially designed beam lines, where it is used in a wide variety of experiment techniques. The ALS has been a very successful enterprise since it started operating in 1993, and I'm very proud to work here.